What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Sword and Shield walkthrough, the Isle of Armor series of Pokemon Sword. So, in our last episode, we got introduced to the, uh, the Mustard Dojo, I think. I think that's what it's called. We got changed, and now we're going to be going up against uh, some fast slowpoke. Who would ever thought that we'd actually find some fast slowpoke? Seriously. So, let's see. Our first trial is going into this area right here. Now this, the Isle of Armor. Oh, you have seem to have an awesome bike. Let me customize that if you like. Huh. Well, we're in the Isle of Armor. It's like a new wild area where you can actually find some new Pokemon right here. And well, there's so many things to discover. Obviously, the Slowpoke have gone into the wild area right here to actually locate them. So that's what we're going to do. Find the three Slowpoke. This lady wants us to find or to fix up our bike. So let's go ahead and customize this bike. And and let's see, hold on a second, and it looks like the customization, customization is complete. And now we have a Rotom bike at the white customization. We could actually change it. Look at that. Oh, my God. Look at that. Okay, so I kind of want to see what the other one is. Okay, changing the appearance and mood. Let's go ahead and change it. Uh, glistening black. I like black. And hold on a sec. And, ooh, that looks better. Okay. Anytime you want. Okay, so look at that. Oh, wow. Okay, so we're loving this. Okay, so here we are in the soothing wetlands. And we're going to have a little bit of a thunderstorm right here. And let's go ahead and talk to this person. <sighs> I've been running so long on my legs, feel like they're going to fall off. If I had a bike, I'd be able, it'd be much easier to capture these fast slowpoke. Again, who'd ever thought we'd say fast slowpoke right here, guys? But I do have a bike. It's kind of a cheat code. And is that a Buffalant? That is a Buffalant. Oh, my God. And, well, as you can see, you will be able to find these slowpokes by the rushing area or by, you know, the smoke that's coming out. And, well, let's go right ahead and get these slowpokes. Oh, yeah. Ah! Look at that. Okay, so let's go ahead. Oh, there's a whooper. Try and capture these guys. Got oh, nearly got him. Okay, come on. We're trying to get this slowpoke. Oh, no. We get hit by a Choodle. Now, I kind of want to say this, guys. In this episode, yeah, we're going to just try and... Uh, <laughs> we're going to try and get these slowpokes. The thing is, it's a little difficult to try and get them when there's Pokemon around you right here. So... Don't be too surprised. Ah, there we go. Got him. So here we go. First slowpoke. It's a fast slowpoke. Defeat it. And yeah, 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 I'll go home right here. So let's get it. It's raining. It's boring. The old man is snoring. But guess what? We're going to be doing a body slam. And slowpoke right here is doing a rain dance. It's already raining. So here we go. Body slam for the win. And that slowpoke actually survives it. So let's go with a high power or high horsepower. Here comes Psychic Attack. This Slowpoke is incredibly fast. I don't know why. There's something different between Galarian and regular Slowpoke. I want to know. And just like that, we get ourselves our first Slowpoke. So we got two more to go. Slow. Okay, so we took back Clara's Dojo Jacket. Only two, slowpo two of those Slowpokes left. Okay, so... Yeah, this is going to be a challenge, guys. We have to go on our bike to just try and get it. And look at this. I see somebody that, you know, we can actually capture. And that is good old Whooper. If you guys don't remember, we had a Whooper in the past quite a few times and replaced it with another Pokemon. Seems to be the good replaceable kind. So let's go right ahead and go with the Body Slam. See if it survives it. And here we go. Body Slam. Doesn't survive it. Okay, so... We're going to have to go with weaker Pokemon in order to get these Pokemon. And look at that. Godzilla. Godzilla grows a little 42. And, well, let's see. There's the other Slowpoke. So, before we capture Pokemon, we got to get Slowpoke. And, yeah, they're going to be freaking tricky to actually get them. And, there we go. Fast Slowpoke. Ah! Ah! No! Ah! Ah, oh, damn it. You have to time it. I checked every, I checked, uh, checked every nuke and cranny of that cave, but I still can't find the fast slowpoke. Well, I found them. 
You're not trying to capture him or anything. Where is he? God dang, Slowpoke. All right, we found a hard stone right here. Gotcha! <laughs> you're fast, but you're not that smart. All right, here we go. Another battle against another fast Slowpoke right here. And, of course, it's raining. So let's go straight for a high horsepower. Nice psych up. Do not know why it would do that. So here we go. High horsepower for the win. Not really. And, uh-oh, this guy has a berry. It's Salak Berry, and it raised, raised its speed again. So let's go ahead and high, high horsepower. And there we go. Slowpoke has been defeated. And, well, we're getting a little bit of experience points right there. So after defeating that Slowpoke, pooh, we get ourselves a Dojo T and a Dojo Shorts. We get ourselves a Dojo T and a Dojo Shorts. Only one of those slowpokes left. Okay, so that is another one. We're trying to find the other, the final slowpoke right here. While that's happening, let's go ahead and grab some items right here, guys. Again, lots of interesting Pokemon right here. Like Buffalon. Ah! Damn you, Buffalon! Okay, the cousin of Tauros. Look at all mean and everything. I would love to capture you. I think I am going to try and capture you. So let's go straight for a body slam since you are that beefy of a Pokemon right here. And... Ooh, look at that. It stayed the same. Okay. And here it comes with this Swords Dance. Oh my god. Okay. So let's see if it can survive one more of these attacks. Here we go. Body Slam. And it didn't survive. So we're just going to get an experience point for all these Pokemon right here. And bam. Okay. So more experience points for all of us. Let us move on right here. I'm like grabbing some more wattage. Okay. So let's see. Where? Oh, where? I'm getting the lay of the land right here. And it looks like to me. Looks like to me that we have to actually go into the cave. That's probably a place where this person could be. But while we're doing that, let's grab some more of these stuff. The pungent root. A lot of the shiny items and all that stuff. Man, it feels good to be back in Pokemon Sword and Shield. It's been a while, guys. It's been a while. Like four months or so. And, well, let's see. Going into this cave right here. Here we are in the Brawler's Cave. And right now, we're not looking at anything. They really, really made it difficult to, uh, for us to, to find this third uh, Magikarp. But look at the Pokemon you can actually find in here. Holy crud. And, well, let's see. I don't know what that is. Oh, it's a Poliwag. Yeah, I'm definitely going to start capturing some Pokemon after this. But first, the mission. Let's see. Where could you be? The Trailing Lowlands. Yeah, this Pokemon cannot be here. Huh. Where or oh, where could this Slowpoke be? I don't know. Where or oh, where? Where? Try this one more time, and there we go. We got enough berries. We don't want to do it three more than three times because, yeah, we don't want Pokemon stealing our food and stuff. So let's see. What are you doing? Oh my gosh! Oh, the most awesome Pokemon ever. 100 watts. Let's see what you can actually find right here. And oh, you can find a Zerua right here. I've always had. Well, Zerua has always been a, like a popular Pokemon out there. It's just, you know, when you when you think about it. When you, when you think about it, it's not really that big of a Pokemon. It's not a really cool Pokemon. Or it's a cool Pokemon to have. It's just it's not that powerful of a Pokemon because it is still a Dark-type Pokemon. Weaknesses still apply and whatnot. And this is the Challenge Road. Holy crud. Okay. I don't think we're in Kansas anymore. What is this? Oh, that's a Rog and Rolla. Let's see. Let's see. Where or oh, where... So this one right here is going into the other tower, so we're going to back off for just a little bit. This is going to be something else. We're going to actually go back into the, the cave and look for that third slowpoke because I, I don't think it's going to be right here. It's going to be within that wild area. So, All right, here we go to the Brawler's Cave. First is first. Holy crud. Holy crud. Holy crud. There we go. Grab ourselves a dust ball. Eventually, I'll start capturing all these guys, guys. These Pokemon. I said guys twice. And, well, let's see. There we go. And, 
Well, let's go ahead and defeat this Woobat since it is shiny. It's a little bit of extra wattage right there. Look at that with our hairstyle and our uniform, our gi. And let's go with the liquidation attack right here. Now, cool thing about these Pokemon, most of them are going to be at level 60, so it's going to be of a challenge. You can train your Pokemon. No need for, you know, any extra rare candies if you have them. And look at that. Blitzkrieg grows to level 83. Something pretty damn cool. And we get a little bit more wattage. And who is this? Oh, she saw the most awesome Pokemon ever. Let's see. Ah, Clauncher. Doesn't it do... No, that, that Pokemon does not evolve into Crawbrawler. That is... That is a question of mine. Can you get Crawbrawler in here? Comment down below, guys. And, well, let's see. We're going to have... Now it's time to find that third uh, Slowpoke. We made it so difficult already. And uh, that is a Wooper that we can actually get. A Blob of Slack Sludge. So let's go ahead and try and capture this little guy. You guys already know. Pokemon Crystal, Pokemon Heart Gold. This Pokemon is highly ignored because, well... Of its, uh, of it, well, of its typing, plus, plus its stats, and the, the attack that it actually, or the, the stuff that it brings to the table. So, we're going to throw a Nest Ball at this guy. Come on, Lucky. You want to be with us. One, deuce, and three. There we go. Throwing out the peace sign, guys. Okay. So, we caught ourselves our second Pokemon in the Isle of Armor. And it looks like to me we've already gotten them, so never mind. Never mind. I, I think I already had a lucky. So you get a little bit more wattage, which is okay. I need to I need to check what kind of Pokemon I actually captured before I start capturing the same Pokemon again. And well, there's more luckies out here. Holy crud, okay, so. Where in the hell are oh wait. See it! There it is! Let's go, you a-hole freaking slowpoke. lick lick -a -lee. Before we do that, let's go ahead and grab some items. Oh! Nearly caught it! Ah, get over here, you little butthole. Oh! Nearly got it! Okay, come on. Oh! Hitting a tree, god dang it. There we go. Oh, <laughs> nearly cut it again. Okay, this is fun. All right. Fast slow folk aren't too great at swimming. They could, couldn't could cross the water. Look around the wetlands. They probably didn't go farther than that. Well, I see that. <laughs> but they ain't that smart either. Oh, defeat it and get the dojo uniform back. Here we go. Another slow poke and it is raining like hell. So let's go right ahead and go with a body slam right here. And I don't know why slow poke would be using heal pulse. Well, he just healed me, so thank you. Thank you very much. I guess it wants an honorable battle against a worthy opponent. And let's go right ahead with another body slam. Now, if you guys are thinking about this, yes, you cannot capture this Pokemon. It's already been caught. You need to battle him and defeat him. And well, there we go. Defeated a cool slowpoke and look at that Michelangelo grows to another level and Look at that we got the dojo gloves and the dojo leg wear and Yes, we should go back to master mustard right here. Okay, so now before we Before we even go back to the, the, the dojo. Let's go ahead and grab some items guys they're laying all around us right here and uh <laughs> Yeah, we were so fixated on trying to capture this Slowpoke right here. Uh, it's a TR right there. I kind of want to grab that before we move on. So let's grab this. Grab that. Getting a lot of feathers right here. And let's see. Is there an item right here? Nope. But there are some water, some wetlands right here. There we go. And let's see. Let's see. What else? Oh, look at that. A TR. TR-26 Endure. It's a pretty cool item. A little item right there. And why did I press that button? I don't know. Okay, so we can cross the river right here. And head on into the next area. And look at that. 
We are looking at some pretty cool Pokemon that we've already captured or, you know, seen. Or things that we want to actually get, like that guy right there. And they are all over the place. Holy crud. Okay, so let's go right here. God damn. Okay, I'm trying to see perfectly right here. God dang it. Okay, there we go. You know, get off the bike. There we go. Got ourselves the TM or TR80, which is Electro Ball. And. Okay, so that's pretty cool right there. We don't need the bike anymore. We just need to run. But it never kills to get more wattages right here, guys. And. Well, let's see. Nothing right here. Oh, we're going back into the Focus Forest, so. We're gonna move along right here. Now, there is a bit of a desert right here. Already been here before. And I guess it's time to go back to the dojo, probably. But there are a lot of Pokemon in here that I just want to capture already. Don't have the time to actually do it right now. And that sounds like an interesting Pokemon. The hell is it? It's looking at me. I don't know. Lick, lick, lick. And, well, let's see. There's some other Pokemon. Oh, look at that. Meryl. A Pika Blue. And, well, let's see. I don't know. Hey, so, quick question, guys. Now, I think I've already asked this before back in the few other versions, walkthroughs and all that stuff. Um, so, I remember back in the day, and look at this, a Politoed. I remember back in the day that the mysterious Pika Blue came in to be, all right? The mysterious Pika Blue. Now, everybody was saying that Pika Blue was an, actually, uh, an actual Pokemon that was uh, set to be coming out pretty soon. But it turned out to be Meryl. What came... Okay, who in the heck started with that, that little rumor right there? I want to know. I mean, it's been damn near almost 20 years since, uh, since it actually came out. I would actually like to know the source of it. That way, you know get a little bit more of an insight of uh, what started it all because I remember in the school grounds Pika blue this Pika blue that I've always wanted to see it and I actually thought that you can actually get it over in Pokemon red blue and yellow but that turned out to be a huge lie you know remember back then before the internet became something uh, of a source I don't want to know about that comment down below guys if there's a link to a video please comment down below and well here we are in the fields of honor and we're gonna go straight back into the dojo Bragging to all our comrades right here that we got the whole... Well, we got all three of these bastards. Okay. Oh, Draven, welcome back. You, don't tell me you got my uniform back all on your own. Here you go. And Clara, you just look beautiful as hell. Oh, well, uh, thanks. Well, Mustard Draven, you cleared the first trial like it was nothing. Why, I think this is the first time since Leon that someone is able to handle all three fast Slowpoke on their own. The rest of you tried very hard, too. You were able to catch up to Slowpoke, but I guess you weren't. Uh, you couldn't defeat them. Ugh. Tell you what, anyone who is able to catch up to Slowpoke at least once gets a pass. Draven really did a, a, really outdid himself, so it's only fair that everyone gets another chance. Try to make it come back, everybody. Oh, how generous! Ugh. By the way, I'm still out. Oh, that reminds me. Honey, where are those little ones? Oh, that's that's right, darling. I had nearly forgotten. Squirtle! Bulbasaur! Come in, uh, sweeties. Oh, wow. Squirtle and Bulbasaur. Huh, you don't say. Drip! That's right, you are dripping in drip. These are our sweet little Pokemon, Bulbasaur and Squirtle. We've all taken care uh, of them together. And I'd say they're more than a little curious about your strength as a trainer. Why don't you pick one to keep to yourself? You could, you did succeed the trial after all. And just, you, just so you know, these two have been raised in a very special way. When they evolve, they'll be able to Gigantamax. You don't say. Huh. So, this is very interesting because I have actually gotten both both of these Pokemon in previous generations, including Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. So, 
whatever I choose right here, the other Pokemon that doesn't get chosen will be in Pokemon Shield. So we're going to get both of them, guys. Really get both of them. And since this is a main walkthrough and all that stuff in Pokemon Shield or Sword that we started, we're going to actually go with Bulbasaur right here. So look at that. Big. So are you going to go with our sweet Bulbasaur? It's a first-rate grass-type moves. Yes. Bulbasaur. Alrighty, so here we have Bulbasaur back in the team. And this guy is going straight into the Pokedex. Bulbasaur, the seed Pokemon. There is a plant on its back right from the day the, this Pokemon is born. The seed slowly grows larger. Would you like to give this Pokemon a nickname? Yes, I would love to give it a nickname. As you guys probably know... Let's see, what was the nickname of our Pokemon? Completely forgot. The guy that we got. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. We're going to look straight into the uh, old archives of uh, good old gym leader Draven right here to see what we actually named it. Let's see, let's see. Uh, Pokemon Yellow, right? Yeah, Pokemon Yellow. All right, so let's see. Pokemon Yellow... Right here. Okay, so I'm just going to put the volume down. So, in Pokemon Shield, you guys will actually get the other version of the Pokemon right here. So, let's see. And back to health. Needs a good trainer to take good care of it. Yes, we actually go. Okay. So, I'm looking at the episode that I actually got Bulbasaur in. So, let's see. And let's give it a nickname. Ah, okay, so there it is. Okay, so welcome back to the team. Good old Dubasaur. Dubasaur. Alrighty, look at that. Oh, actually, we spelled it wrong. Dubasaur. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Completely forgot about it. There we go, Dubasaur. And you know what? Let's go ahead and add it to the party right here. Because... I want to actually evolve them, get it to a good level. And since we're not using Dumbledore anymore, let's go ahead and add this guy to the team. And just like that, Bulbasaur or Dubasaur is back on the team. So Bulbasaur looks pleased as a punch to that you chose it. Remember the that remember that your new Pokemon will be able to Gigantamax once it's fully evolved. So be sure to raise it well. Dynamaxing, a mysterious phenomenon unique to the Pokemon of Galar. And then there is Gigantamaxing, a very special way of Dynamaxing for very special Pokemon. Their moves change, of course, but their appearances change too. Speaking of Gigantamaxing, there is a, there, there's that secret recipe of a Master Dojo. Drinking it makes you gigantic or and strong. I call it the Max Soup. Hmm. The Max Soup. I'd love to I'd love to have a bowl of max soup full of max mushrooms right about now. It sure has been a while. And that's why your second trial shall be mushroom picking. Max mushrooms are the key to gigantamaxing, and I'm tasking you to finding three. Max mushrooms are red with spiral pattern. I'm pretty sure that they'll grow in the dark, humid places. And with that, your next trial begins. I'm counting on you! Ooh, oh yeah. Okay. Oh, don't worry, Squirtle. I'll be sure to raise you lots with love. I'll make sure you are uh, you oh so strong, so you you'll never lose to Bulbasaur. <laughs> Squirt. Okay, Miss Honey. If you want the Pokemon to learn a new move, you can ha leave it. Leave that to me. Well, aren't you the sweetest thing? That lovely lad is uh, is always kind to give him a bit of an Omari ore, and he'll teach you a darling new move for Pokemon. You should try and give it a try, or you should give it a try. So here we go. We got five Omari ores, and to me it looks like right here that the Omari ores are going to be something of an importance. So in the next episode, guys, we're going to be locating the three mushrooms. That way we can actually get the, well, the juice that he wants is the Gigantamax juice or something. So... Again, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode of the Island of Armor. See you guys.